Time had not been kind to the Merry Queen. She had outlived one son, lost an eye, and had been in great pain since her 50th birthday. Yet as she now approached her 60th, she felt a revitalized strength in her, a desire to push on, push forward. Her grandson was now 16 years of age, ready to rule Yunkai of his own right. In his youth, he'd been led by a regency council, and kept within the city for his safety, meaning that in truth, he'd never had a chance to actually meet his grandmother, to see his family's home of Illyria, never had a chance to learn from her. But now that he was of age, he chose to travel to Illyria, to this ancestral seat, to finally come to know the place, to finally get to meet the Queen. Maleris did not waste the opportunity to spend time with her grandson, to grow to understand the boy, and she marvelled at him. His hair lip did make his tongue slow and sloppy, made him spit when he talked, making it hard for him to speak, and for those around him to wish he would finish quite sooner. But when he did speak, he had a strange kindness to him, a humour. One could look into his eyes and see there was a sadness, a deep remorse. Perhaps losing his father so young had made him craven, but there was also a justice and righteousness in him, a care, that Maleris came to appreciate greatly. Maybe it was all an act, but to her, he seemed truly a good man. One who could grow into a great man. Maleris could not help but feel she had been hasty in her decision to call the Great Council. But it had seemed right at the time. She was in her forties, her heir dead, and her grandson only a babe, with cancer riddling her body and a fever plaguing her mind. To secure the succession and stop a war, the council was the only choice. She'd supported him at the council, of course, but she'd also supported Beleron, and neither had won compared to Bathan. But it had secured succession and prevented a war. Yet by doing so, she had denied Valerian a throne that by all rights he was set to inherit, and that he was ready to earn. She'd fought with her life to secure the throne for her blood. Why give it away? She could not overrule the Great Council. Bathan was her heir, but she knew Valerian was strong of mind. She knew there was a fighter in him. And so she began to speak in his ear to tell him that perhaps, just maybe, the throne should be his. As the years went on, she grew weak again. She felt as if she had another decade in her, another ten years at least, to guide her heir to be with her grandson and her son in Volantis. But she could only live so long. In the time she had, she would do all she could to keep her line strong and ready for the times ahead. So long, she had done what she could to prevent a war on her death, but now, she had remembered. She was the daughter of the dragon. Rhaegar had taught her how you truly kept the peace with fire and blood. Hello guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, a game of thrones, where we are playing once again as Empress Maleris the Merry. We are now 58 years old. Our grandson is fully outgrown himself, but his uh, inheritance is a struggle, because not only is he already sickly, He's naturally our heir. Our heir is now Bathan the Chaste of Marine, who has plenty of his own children. This was, of course, um, the decision made by the Grand Cam uh, Council back when Malaris first got sickly. Back then, we thought she might not make it the full summer, but she has, and she's made it a many summer since now in her 58th year. So, we have um, paid off a couple of our debts, but overall, we are still have a decent bit to pay off. Uh, debts, obviously, we took early on to pay for the kingdom, to pay for our 
second castle here and to pay for the expansions of our colonies. The Marine is still at war with Mir. Yes, his uh, slave raid on Mir. Of course, uh, my son does have a dragon. So you'd imagine that he will still probably win this war too. The mighty Aaron of Illyria. We are entering winter. That is not great. Creating smaller states could be good, actually. Oh no, you need guard stations too to do that. Where do I get guard stations too? I can't upgrade the household guard. So. Or oh, the household guard is what I did uh, last episode, where we built our ships and now we've built this. Maybe it's an upgrade of patrol posts? I'm just trying to think what would be guard stations too. Maxis has a new rider. Septon Sericho rides on Maraxis. We're doing all we can to try and make Valar like us a little bit, but I really don't think it's gonna work. So I have that plus fifteen and we're still minus hundred. If you add all these together, it's actually more like minus two hundred with me. Oh, bloody flux and melee or march. That is not good. Lord Valar of Geese. Interesting. Oh, he's he has a full duchy title, the Duchy of Geese. He is the uh or the nephew of the former Lord Baylor the Bastard, who of course has passed away, so now his son Lainor rules in his stead. People conspiring to kill me. People conspiring to kill Valar as well, apparently. He was trying to kill Rhaegar. Oh god, the this um, illness has spread pretty quickly, hasn't it? It's already all through uh, Marine and all through Melior March. This is a pretty substantial sickness. Princess Raylorn, there is still the Narise Larachian. That is. Well, Belatra Ubelessa's wife. But she's a cinder. Oh! Oh my, it's the, da the uh, daughter of Aemond. So Valar's uh, sister. Well, she is in Valar's kingdom, so it doesn't make sense. I can see married her to one of her vassals. Rhaegar, Rhaegar and I had a wonderful time. Well, that's nice. A bloody flux is spreading quite badly through this area. There's basically no upgrades I could really get. I, I do think it might be patrol posts is what would upgrade into this. Because you also need modest estates free. So we would need to upgrade this to upgrade to Castle Town. So I think we're going to just hope patrol posts was correct. And upgrades that. It does sound like one that would upgrade to guard posts at least. Uh, I don't feel we need to shut the gates because, yeah, it hasn't spread on the island. It basically never spreads on the island. It's why it's good to have Illyria. Because Flux is very rarely spread to it. How are things going for him? 20,000 men at the moment. Certainly one of the biggest threats for us. Another person who's tried to set themselves on fire. I could actually do a slave raid down here at the Free Snakes.
Uh, I'm not going to go myself though, because that would be a bad idea. But Terravar instead. Oh, Geese is the first one. I mean, it makes sense Geese would be quick to arrive. Especially with such so substantial an army as well. 28,000 pushed themselves back to being the primary power in the region. Valantis didn't rise at all, I assume, because he's, al because he's already at war. He didn't have to. Had a daughter called Maleris, named after me. How sweet of you. Still plenty of time to have a son, one would think. And you have to imagine they're also hoping for a son, no doubt. Old Magor of Astapor has a dragon. Vader gone. Yes, that is uh, Rhaegar's... Is it his heir? No, it's not his heir. It's his uh, third-born son. Well, his second-born son. It's very sweet of you, my dear son, but you literally didn't have to. I think you're still at war with Mir as well, so maybe go focus on the Mir war. All the Lyrian armies here, the Yungaya's army is here. Everyone's army is here to come. I mean, it's it's silly that this is what happens with the Civil War mechanics. You just have all of these armies coming here to beat up the Summer Isles. I really would have just liked to do this myself. Um, I don't, I don't need to get involved in that. I don't think I get anything by being involved in that. False demands. Get back at our ships. Sail back home. No, quick pit stop, lads. Let's land right on them. Look at that, just wipe them. Oh my goodness! Not even give me one second between these events. And it is, I've checked, there is no way to turn off these events from what I can see. Shut up! Give me a second game! Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? It's every other second! Stop giving me the high prices if they're not going to pay the high prices. I don't get this. There we go, and then we can train troops to get them back up. Lairon of Marine, who is the heir of my heir. I've had a daughter. Ray sounds a lovely name. He has a son too called Alex, who is attractive. Oh. You know what? 75, just take him off my hands. Thank you. And then Mar uh, the area itself should now have. Yeah, moderate. Means that we could technically set it twice, but we shouldn't need to. Captain of the Household Guard. Is that a minor title? Yes, it is. My sister-in-law is the Captain of the Household Guard. That's fun. And we'll make my grandson my regent. Anyone good to be my justice? You make a good justice. Court tutor. Go for the one who actually likes me. Rhaegar can be a court poet. Oh my goodness, the port of size has taken up all my money. And they are literally never 
upgrading. They're just getting famine after famine after winter after bad winter. It's it's wild. Young Tad's answer from Illyria proposes to paint an iconic portrait of Rhaegar the Magnificent. Sure. There must be a hundred odd um so what can I do with my commanding my household guard? Improve my levies, defend Illyria. Spend gold to increase the defense of Illyria, sure. Yeah, I could sell these if I when time comes to pay off my debts now. Let us talk strategy. I'm sure he loves strategy. There we go. I was correct. He's guard stations too. There we go. So we can upgrade that and then upgrade that and then upgrade that. But, but uh, lovely. We're going to focus all our money on making Illyria the greatest city that ever was. I want to get maybe some... I'll grade this just to get some heavy infantry. Just because heavy infantry is very good. Army of the Lower Rhoyne. Were they at war with? Oh, Skoro. Yeah, you have to go a long distance to actually take the capital of these places. And then he's not going to reintegrate with me because he's still at war, isn't he? No, he's not at war. Why is he not... Oh, no, there we go, yes. As soon as I say it, he reintegrates. Silly me. My nephew, Jacquas. Interesting, so he's the uncle of, um, Valar. Didn't know Valar. Who? Had many uncles left. I thought most of them had been... Oh, and the Vagon's still alive. That's one. But yeah, um, Tehavon's dead. Which is a shame because Tehavon was quite cool. And that's my official opinion. Tehavon, quite cool. Actually enjoying some times of quiet. 62 years old now. And of course, times of quiet get interrupted. Oh, they literally can't even siege down the province there, and these guys shouldn't be a problem. Uh, let's just raise the my liege forces for this, and then give them a check and to, a, a second to get their morale up. I don't know why I said a check -in. He's revoked the city of New Geese from Gazads. So does that mean he actually owns New Geese now? Nope. He only owns New Geese. And he revoked the city and gave it to someone else. Okay, that does make some sense. Ah, oh, Winter is coming to an end. But I would have thought you'd take back... Like, Old Geese is no longer... It's fully no longer a colony. This is a fantastic place to own. Look at that, 12... Well, 12k troops in one city. Oh, my niece Ray has died. Oh dear. No, this is absolutely... Like, he needs to be revoking this. He needs to own both of these directly. Because then he's going to be, like, unparamounted in power. I mean, 30k suggests he already is, but you know what I mean. Owning it directly would be much better for him. These armies stand down. What actually killed her? She died of oh, cancer. 
It seems to run in the family. We've had, I mean, I had a scare of it. It seems like many within the family keep having scares with it. I wonder if the reason I can attack three snakes is because it technically actually borders uh, new geese. Because they, these, these two share this uh, domain where I guess I wouldn't be able to do one on the Howling Owls because we don't border it. Yes. Okay, there we go. Mystery solved. And ask politely. And that plot. But might as well just auto stop plots for a little bit. Yeah, another dragon rider. Riding on the back of Fafna. Give this army a moment to get its morale up. Radar patrol posts. I would absolutely love an event right now for the Port of Sires that's just like, no, we're an advanced colony because you invested so much money into us and it was all worth it. But somebody tells me that's not going to happen. Oh, that's good. If it's not up with me, where are they marching to? Oh, they're just hostile. I assume probably someone's scanning their land. So they're ending up hostile again. I'm surprised by how organized Carth still is. My granddaughter Maleris, quick of the mind. Roved to her father. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Guess we're going for um true Val Valyrian moment. <laughs> Jesus. That that blood of the dragon can't be inherited by bastards. I would have thought blood of the dragon would be inheritable by bastards. Insidious howling owls traders must be expelled from your lands. From my lands. Oh, it's this it's the guy with the rulers down here, but why is he all the way over there? Sure, let's join him in this war. Means I gotta beat up these howling owls a bit. Five hundred fifty means I should be able to upgrade the smaller states and maybe even the castle town like right away, which is fantastic news for me. Or I could upgrade something in Amelior. Yeah, get a castle town here as well. Why not? A single. There's one dude. <laughs> they sent one dude to Illyria. Is this like the the fact that saying he's sieging is very funny. Uh, I'll take the piety hit. Go on. Look at the army of Astapor. It is, that has actually interesting to see the Disney map mode and see how Cinder runs literally every one of these. Cinder runs every kingdom. Except geese, which is the Aina family. But it is good to have this sort of sharing in um, 
Valyrian, or like sh starting to share with other Valyrian houses to try and restore a bit of Valyria because we have been for so long sort of a weakened Valyria. Great victory. Ooh, Astapor might need help though. Whoa, 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 whoa. The liberation of Astapor. Holy crap. Um, let's get 10,000 forces up here. And then I could probably get more. Yeah, 10,000 should be enough if I'm leaving because of my dragon. We can get Bafen with us. And... Oh my goodness! The Port of Size literally has not had a single good event. Does Elaine have a dragon? Yeah, she has a Gyrolet. Okay. Let's try and help out Astapor before it falls. Where are these Khans? Up here. Okay, and now we're going to have to get another army up in Marine to deal with these guys. Larian's dead. What? Oh shit! So Carpaxis has run off the that. So who's Bafen's heir now? Alex, his grandson. Wow, that is Larian died really young. I don't think I was quite expecting that. Um, I'll pay my husband a nice reward. I mean, like, he's been with me for so long that... Okay, Papaxis is now being ridden by Lady Sienna. Oh, another bloody dragon for his army, if he ever needed it. It's a Kled War on the, the lease. Why are you going all the way to lease, Valar? Oh, my goodness. Well, he's not fighting me. I was worried for a moment he was fighting me. I'll take him fighting Lise over fighting me. People want to kill Beleiron. Well, I'm not going to let that happen. So I probably auto stopped it already. Yes, I did. Your Lord Tre uh, Treasurer's report for missing item for your treasury. My ruby scepter has gone missing. No! I paid and I still lost it. Fuck. Who stole it? That's an annoying one to lose. God, the Emperor Rhaegar is such a cool ship. Look at them running away. Head to Marine and then stand down. He's fighting... Is there a... Oh, they recovered it. Oh, thank God. He's at war with Queen Elenema Neoris, a High Valyrian. Oh, we could have another High Valyrian. Wait, a husband? Wait, what? Is he at war with his wife? Is that what it's saying? Yeah, he's at war with his wife over his throne. But her first husband was uh, my son, Jaehaerys. So that mean would mean her children. If she inherits, Yunkai and Astapor would be merged again when she dies, because it will go to Valeron. Wow. This is an interesting prospect. I don't think I'm gonna get involved in this war. I think I might let this happen, just to see. Because I think this is such an interesting development. Because Rhaegar's line has been, you know, they've been a line that's held since um Rhaegar in the first place, because, like, you know, Valar was the... The heir of Rizwell, like this heir of the kingdom. Rhaegar was, uh, or Valar was from the marriage with Malaris, who is obviously my mother. We were the only two children to really inherit anything from <laughs> that line. 
yeah, I got the white hair and he got the brown, but that brown hair is sort of held into his, his son, Rhaegar. And those modest estates up in Illyria. I'm going to try and stop swaying the lark because I really don't think it's going to work. He wants to legitimize his bastard very well. During the war in Astapor, the dragon rider of Queen Elenea Lenoraris, rider of Faxalix. God, it's been so long since we've seen Faxalix, and this is how he gets his big return. Rider of Faxalix and Lord Magar in the rider of Vedagon met in fierce combat. Lord Magar and Vedagon prevailed, killing Faxalix. Iphilix's father is dead. One of the oldest dragons remaining is dead. Actually outlived majesty in years as well. 77 years old and now dead. What a dance that must have been. That might have defeated the queen then. Losing her dragon, because now she, she's without a dragon for the rest of this war. That's why it was quite exciting. This this war's looked a bit one-sided and now it's turned the complete other way. I love me a good dragon war, what can I say? I'm a sucker for him. Where's this whole army staying here? Does he send any troops to lease? Oh, he has. He sent half his army to lease. To get slowly attritioned away in their capital. Never mind. You're eating a potentially become fat. Yeah, okay. I was, was going to say potentially, but it probably means definitely right. And yes, it definitely did. And I've lost the trait Zealous. Yes, and he's at war? With his own vassal again? Okay, I'm gonna try and oh, I was gonna say I'm gonna try and lose the fat way, but <laughs> it was like the space of one year I gained a tiny bit of weight. My husband got angry at me, and then I immediately lost the weight again. What a story! So we can upgrade this castle town to next level. Which you know, realistically, that just shows how massive this uh, city's becoming. We can upgrade this now to a level 4 castle town. With the money left over, we can upgrade the castle town here to level 2. We can also upgrade Zotklos a bit too. Um, get them some private farms. I could expose and denounce publicly. Give me a reason to arrest. Interesting. I can get, I can charge Valar with being a deviant. Yeah, let's do it. Give me a reason to imprison him for his, uh, a 5% chance of success but succeeds. It doesn't surprise me, but it could be worth just to use this as an excuse to take Olos and Mentaris from him. Resecure these like crucial aspects, put us back in control. Especially since his armies are all away at the moment, fighting elsewhere. But if I try and attack him, I don't know, maybe Marine might stand with him, or Jung or like Astapor might stand with him, you know? There's no knowing how my vassals would side. It's, it's, it's a bit too risky, in my opinion at least. Size. I don't think it's really within Malaris's traits to do that. I mean, she's on. She's ambitious, but she's honest. Eh. I mean, it's not like she's lying, so maybe she would. Especially with cruel. All his factions. What factions that? 
base of the North Valyria. How dare you? How dare you? Did I not give you this heirdom? Uh, nah. He doesn't look like one I need. I don't know, if I am going to attack him, doing it while half his army is in lease does seem like a wise idea. Hmm. Yeah, it seem it does seem like the right time to me. I don't know. A plot to investigate his legitimacy. Suggest that Aemon the Second isn't his real father. Now that would be something. Who what would the who would the title go to if not? Him. His heir is Ilorius Hestia. So his, uh, what, great nephew? Through, um, Arrhenior? What a weird succession that would be. And we would lose, um, or we'd have a new Hestia as a, uh, dynasty taking over. I'm surprised he's re he's not had a kid yet. Does he hate his wife or something? It's just... She is 30. Maybe, maybe we do strike. Hmm. Yeah, I could, I definitely think it could make sense. Or maybe re just revoking Mentaris as a punishment. No, that would make vassals hate me. Directly. If I'm doing it, it has to be an imprisonment. Let's hope they're going to honour their cause. Get this army over here. So it's new geese who has chosen not to rise with me. But geese actually, no, so geese has sided with me. New geese hasn't sided with me. Interesting. So geese is now in a civil war over this. That could be profitable for me. Get these up here as well. Yeah, I don't think Valantis is going to be able to aid while he's in the middle of his war. King Theo of the Iron Throne. Is being King of the Iron Throne even something to be proud of? I mean... I don't call this a throne. He's died! Now we have a new problem. Okay, well, I guess... How did he die? This brings up new questions of its own, surely. I'm a bit baffled. I wasn't expecting this. Especially with how young he was. So, hang on. Uh, I clicked wrong, hang on. If I go to his mother, he died of scurvy. The age of 24, childless. I guess our war wasn't even needed. And now House Hestia has claimed North Illyria, our ancestral title of all titles. Surely I can't make this happen.
Like looking at the dynasty map nodes, it's still this is the cinder. Hmm. Is geese in a civil war? Why? Oh, it's because they're part of the lease war, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I think I have to reclaim my title from these guys. My kingdom this is my father's title. North Valyria is the main title of our empire. Okay, we have at least resecured the kingdom title. You make me angrier and angrier. But you're my vassal or you're my heir disgusts me. I need to find a way to make him no longer my heir. In truth, I think Malaris would start looking to her grandson, because he's... at least more loyal. Trying to improve his combat ability. Rhaegal would also make a good heir. But honestly, a little bit of me still thinks that she might look to, um... Bathan, or Beleron as a better heir. Better than this ball. I was hoping for a war, but instead they kind of just lost their titles. What happened to the family sword, though? Who who has the family blade? Did I inherit it? No. Who has... Her, oh, the mother does. Relania in, inherited um, Majesty. Interesting. And her husband is Ubelessa, but their family now runs Tolos. We could have significant power if I could secure Tolos from him. For now, I'll let him keep Tolos. I don't, you know, he's a child of six. There's a good chance he may not make it the full way. Never know. That young an age, you never know. Um, I don't really need him. Yeah, barracks. Let's upgrade catapults first, and then we'll upgrade the rest. New a dragon has entered the world. Mainly. Huh. Oh. Well. Perhaps this may be the perfect point to end, then. I was expecting maybe a day or two longer, but... We now now in a, such a strange situation. So wait, he's inherited Yunkai and... Oh! This is fun. This is very fun. So he's inherited North Valyria and Yunkai, making him have an army of 45,000. And, technically speaking, he is the rightful heir. Beleron has a claim, too. Oh, Beleron has a claim. My current heir is, um, my brother-in-law, Rhaegar of Astapor. Why not my son? Why is my son not my heir? We'll have to discuss that. Why is my son not my heir? Interesting, interesting. Bathan the Chaste. The man installed of Emperor Bathan the Chaste on the throne. That's, okay, I think that's just because I need to do this, yeah. Well, we will invite all the lords and ladies of the realm to this funeral. But... Oh, and also, uh... But, oh no, Illyria! We've lost Illyria! Illyria is held by Valeran! Now, this is fun. I think, as we said, I think we have to go to war for this. I think this is the perfect setup for a war. He has held, inherited so much power, and in the will, he's inherited the capital. Not me. Oh, perhaps the Great Council may have been wrong after all. Well, I suppose we shall end it here, with the world in the midst of possibly a second War of the Cinder, a dance of the dragons. Of course, the third claimant war overall, but this one would be a proper civil war once again. This would be exciting. Anytime we think there's peace, it gets taken away from us. But we shall... 
definitely see what's going to happen here. Of course, we will take a quick look at our sadly deceased at the age of 66. Apparently from too much drinking. The sadly deceased Valeris. Husband, Rhaegar. No dragon. Uh, but question will be what will happen with Iflix as well. Now unridden. Uh, I've seen some people just talking about using nicknames to give nicknames to the dragons. I think I will be doing that in the save edits after this session to give these guys some cool nicknames. If you have nickname suggestions for the dragons, please do leave them down in the comments. But, I think the next time you see us, Nor Valyria will be fighting for its very future to see which line of Rhaegar shall rule. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And I'll see you in the next episode. Until then.